I don't have 50 50 as yeah. many scotches as you do. <laughs> Hey man, scotch me, little buddy. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts! <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, Whiskey Whippers and Spirit Sippers. One one here, back at you again, and we track down another one. Johnny Walker Green Label. Yeah. That's an attention getter. We got this one for our special guest today. DJ Doogie brought this up from Oregon. What's up, DJ Doogie? Say hey to the people. How are you guys doing? I'm DJ Doogie. I work at Earl's on the Ave in the U District, bartender there. I can't wait to try this. It looks good. Looks like somebody's already tried it. Oh, yeah, I did, actually. I <laughs> had one of those nights, and I was like, there needs to be a bottle around here. And I was like, that's right. I got uh, my buddy's bottle in the back of the truck. Oh, shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. Ah, so he did go down to Oregon. He hooked it up. He bought a couple bottles, and one of them almost made it back fully intact. It was a 20-year high school reunion. I had to have a little bit of fun. 21, 20 year high school reunion. We're going to let that one go. So, this one's been open. I have yet to taste it. So, I know this is going to be super peaty, which is a little bit outside of our profile. But a lot of people in the whiskey world say that the green label is their absolute favorite out of all the labels out there. So, and that's even talking blue labels. So, let's give it a pour and see what's what. spilled there no bueno don't spill the good stuff this uh johnny walker green label is a blend of single malt so there's no grains in here and all the malts that are in here are all single malts blended in here so that's what makes it special and different boom nice job got a little jibbage got a little jibbage but uh you already know the deal it's Johnny Walker Green Label is 15 years old, so one minute for every year in the glass. So we're going to let this chill for 15 minutes and be right back at you. Well, we're waiting. Oh, yeah, I'll be feeling good after all these. This is about a shot at one of my bars. <laughs> <laughs> at his bar, the uh, triple pour at our... Earl's on the triple Ave. Pour. I want to say triple <laughs> pour. Earl's on the it's Ave. It's a healthy pour. It's not a triple pour. Yeah, their shots are like in beer pint glasses. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's check out the first one and see what it smells like. Once again, this is a mix of single malts. So uh, most of the Johnny Walkers, you know, they just blend a whole bunch of stuff. This is everything blended in here are all single malts. So that's what makes it special, and I think that's why it's a lot of people in the whiskey games uh, favorite. I know it's got Talisker in it, and Talisker is kind of known for being salty. I mean, <laughs> dude, when I got the Game of Thrones collection, we both drank the Talisker first. Almost never drank whiskey again. <laughs> I was like almost done right then and there. Then drank the Lagavulin, and it was like a sweeter, smoother form of the Talisker. I was like, is this what whiskey is? I was like, and then for everybody out there, look at a good laugh. My third one was the Johnny Walker White Walker, which everybody hates. They're like, that's the worst stuff ever. But I actually liked it better than the Talisker and the Lagavulin. Like, Say what? Like, that's blasphemy. But, I mean, it's a party shot. Everybody wants to drink it all warm. And I'm like, dude, it's a bottle that reveals its secret only when it's frozen out of the freezer. So why would you force yourself to drink it warm? True. So I don't get that. But have you ever had an art bag, like an art bag 10? No. Oh. <laughs> I'll have yeah. to try one. <laughs> We're going to have to You probably have some here, right? No. <laughs> there's nothing. Other than a Japanese whiskey, there's nothing peated here. This is this. And I wanted to get this because I just did check out that Costco review of the Japanese whiskey. Uh, that one is also has like a little bit of peat. And I think, I think that one might be a blend of single malts because it's real similar. So I really wanted to taste this to see how they compare. And uh, that'll probably be another video coming up of verses between those two to see how they uh, match up against each other. But yeah, on the nose, I'm not getting it. It's... A lot more muted than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be pute, or a lot of peat, you know, the phenolics. I'm basically getting like a little bit of lemon. 
I mean, just the tiniest bit of citrus note, but I'm not getting that peat or that smoke or that medicinal. I'm not getting any of that. I mean, none. That's crazy to me. I thought, sure, it'd be a lot more than that. I'm getting, like, light fruits. It's very bland. Yeah, like flat wine almost. I mean, there's something there, but again, it's like a citrus, like a light fruit, but that's about it. I was, I don't know, I guess I was psyching myself out for this one. I thought it was going to be like a big peat monster, and it's it's not at all on the smell. The nose doesn't have that at all. All right, let's, uh, that's what I was let's waiting do for. it. Cheers. Yeah. Come to the lip and take a sip. There's a little bit of that peat on the taste. Yeah, you can taste it on your tongue. But a tiny bit, like the Japanese whiskey has more peat. Super, like... Super easy and smooth going down. There's not a lot of fire, not a lot of burn on the mouth. Like It sticks around for a while, though. It's got a bit of a finish. It's got a bit of a longer finish. But, yeah, it was real smooth and easy going down. There was no burn in the mouth, and then it kind of went down, and then you kind of get that, you know, that warm, fuzzy feeling when it came back up a little bit. And now it's, you know, it is still lingering in the mouth. You can't taste it. But it's not unpleasant at all. And like I said, there's no peat. There's no smoke. There's no ash. There's no medicinal. Tiny. I mean, there is a bit of peat, but it's so light. I mean, it's, I was really psyching myself out for this one. This is just a smooth, easy sipper right here. Yeah, this is super smooth. There's not a lot to it, though. No, it's really not. I mean, for a blend, it's almost like it's over-blended, like it flatlined itself. You could just drink this all night long. Yeah, this is, this is easy. What is it? What's the uh, ABV on this? ABV is 43. 43, so we're looking at 86 80, proof? Yeah. Well, that's a light 86. I'll tell you what. I think I'm like, <laughs> I've been making too many 100 proofs lately or something. <laughs> <laughs> because this is just going down too damn easy. But yeah, I think I think this one I just really psyched myself out on. It was going to be like a big peat bomb, and it's just not. There is just the I mean, if you're looking for an introduction to peat, right here it is. This is as smooth and as easy. I'm not, barely getting any peat. Yeah, I, I was about to say, I don't want to say flavorless, but I mean, it's so back there and just light. Like, and now I'm getting a little bit of like pear. Yeah, that's super real light lemon, pear, grape maybe. Maybe a little bit of apple. like, yeah, maybe like a little green apple, like a bitter apple though, not a sweet apple, like a bitter apple. Talking those green Granny Smiths. But yeah, this one's just, I don't know. Johnny Walker Green Label. I was uh, I got a little overhyped on this one. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad in any way, but I really thought the peat was going to knock me out. Because I've actually been looking for a peat that I could, like, you know, stick my toe in the water and kind of inch, inch, inch my way in. Say what? Because a lot of the Japanese ones are super light on the smoke and the peat. So those are that. I really like those. But man, as far as, like, the art bags and, again, the Lagavulin and 16 and the... Uh, like, I haven't even tried a Lafroy, but I heard that's like, <laughs> you know, kissing a smoking walrus. <laughs> I mean, that sounds real pleasant, doesn't it? I don't know, I'm not in. But, like, that Japanese whiskey is like a, fire, a campfire next door or whatever. So, it's like a real smooth, easy, like, light, smoky pee. This one, I couldn't even tell you if it's not medicinal at all. So, what is that? It's like a sweet pee. It's not really smoky or medicinal. It's like a sweet pee. I feel like I'm getting some wood to it, though. Getting a little bit of that oak barrel influence. It is 15 years, so you're definitely, definitely going to get some of that. It's sure not heavy. It's not like super over oak. No, super light. That's crazy. Well, it's probably going to get even lighter, but we got to put this over some ice and see what see what that tastes like. But Oh, no, let's try some water first. Okay. Thank you. A couple drops. Let that get in there. As you all know, it doesn't uh, water it down. The water just hits the whiskey and it hits those oils and actually opens it up a little bit and kind of releases some of the aromas and some of the extra flavors. Most whiskeys, I'm not a huge favor of water, but lately a couple of them that I've been tasting, and maybe it's because I've been drinking some of the older ones, that it actually is affecting it. So I think, yeah, the water, the age is a big factor in the water. I feel like that made it all smooth. Kind of flattened out the smell even more? Yeah. Instead of opening it up? I yeah, it's almost like a lighter zest now. Yeah. Like a lighter lemon and a lighter yeah. pear. Like, yeah, super, like, floral, but so light. I was really expecting this to be jumping out of the glass bar. I'm just getting flowers and fruits, and this is so much lighter than I thought it was going to be. I like light. It's very good. Very, very good. Well, it almost took away what little was there. 
What did it do? Did it open anything up for you? Well, I'm a lot flatter. Yeah, that's what I'm going to take away the little bit that was there. It even took that away. Yeah, I'm not going to suggest water in this one. It's almost sweet, like almost a powdered donut sweet smell. Like it is sweet, sweet. Yeah, the back of your tongue is real. It lingers there for a little bit, but it's super mild. I mean, that's like spiced up apple juice. <laughs> that is, I mean, a, like dude. a nice spicy cider. Yeah, super dry cider. There's just nothing there. I mean, this, I really this would be good with like a side of cider. I really psyched myself out for this. So now, you know, I've done the Johnny Walker Black Label. Check out that one if you haven't seen it. Um, now we've done the Green Label. I guess I'm going to have to try the uh, Double Black because I think the Double Black's actually a little bit peatier than this. Or the Gold or Blue. But those aren't super peaty. Like oh. this and the Double Black are the okay. like big peat bombs. But uh, I thought this one would actually be more peaty, but I think the Double Black is going to end up being a little... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. But yeah, this one, I'll tell you what, if you're a rookie like me and you're looking for like a way to just stick your toe into the water and uh, just maybe dabble in some peat, this is a good one for that. Because there's this is not offensive. It's not going to knock you out of your chair. It's just kind of... This would be a good one for somebody who doesn't really like scotch but wants to try some. Yeah, right? Because it's like, not going to blow them away and it's going to have it's, just enough. But it's super light. I could drink this all night long and not even have a problem. This is. It's like a light whiskey. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's like a light whiskey. I mean, it's not flavorless. It's just the flavor is just so... No, I mean, just air out, no. airy. For having, I mean, this has got Talisker and Linkwood. I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff. It's got Koala in it. So, Kragenmore. I really thought that this was going to bring a lot more to the table. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But uh, let's put it over some ice and uh, check that one out and see what the ice does. Yeah, let the ice get in there and chill it a little bit. Don't want it to uh, water it down, just kind of let it get cooled off. Um, your mouth is not supposed to acclimate at these kind of temperatures, but I disagree with that because there are whiskeys when I put ice in it. All it, For most of it, it has like this special tang, like this little bittersweet twang tang that it has. But I don't think, I think some of it, it actually brings out, like some of it brings out the um, barrel notes, some of it brings out the actual flavors of the like whiskey, like the fruits or the whatever is like, I think some of them actually get better. I find ice. the flavor lasts a little bit longer as you're drinking it because the water kind of coats it down your whole, your whole throat a little bit more. With ice on it? Or yeah, with ice. For me. Or maybe because you can feel it at that temperature. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but they just say, like, your mouth's not acclimated to taste as many flavors at, like, these extreme temperatures of yeah. cold or, like, hot coffee. Okay. But, I mean, you can taste different flavors of coffee, and that's super hot. And I think the same thing happens, like, with some whiskeys and ice. I mean, I think it accents some of the flavors. Okay. So, yeah, I think it brings out the brilliance in them. Cheers. Slanja. So, again, I think this brought out some of the barrel notes. Oh, um, yeah. A lot more flavor, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. like you can kind of tell it kind of washes over your tongue a little bit, and then the flavor starts coming in. It doesn't hit instantly until your tongue warms up a little bit. Yeah, because you don't get that burn right out of the gate with the ice on there. Yeah. yeah. But it took out, again, like the little bit of peat that you could taste when it was neat. That's completely gone. Yeah, and, I don't get any peat in this right now. And even like the citrus and the fruits are kind of like those are tamped way down, and it just kind of like I said, I think it brought up the barrel. Yes. Some of the barrel tannins. A lot more barrel. That's when I feel like I'm getting like barrel tannins, barrel notes. Just more of a woodsy kind of oak flavor. That's not bad. I mean, super smooth. What is that? It almost has a. It almost has a Johnny Walker taste. <laughs> it does. It has a, like the Johnny Walker black. It almost kind of has a little more of a Johnny Walker black taste on the ice. Mm -hmm. Like the aftertaste, the finish. Yeah. That's why I attribute to Johnny Walker Black. It's just that special flavor. Oh, when you taste them side to side, it's way different with the ice. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we're doing samples. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're good. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Still a drop on that one. Yeah. Even better. That smells so sweet without the yeah. ice. Like I said, the, almost like that powdered donut sweet, like super sweet. A more of a tingle. That tiny bit of peat. There's a tiny bit of peat in there that you can smell. But again, it's not like the smokier, ashier, or medicinal peat. It's like that sweet peat. Okay. 
Like the on the ice, it's the ice is just ice. <laughs> yeah, that's just cold whiskey. This is not bad on ice. I don't normally like scotch on ice, but I love this is not bad. It's real mild. I think I'm almost 50-50. I mean, I'm probably leaning a little bit more, maybe 60-40, almost 70-30 these days with the neat, but I really do enjoy a lot of them on ice. Some of them, the ice just kills it, and it's just cold whiskey water. Yeah, I enjoy this on ice a little more, I think. I think I'm about 60-40 with ice. I think this one, I have to go with neat, just because the ice just took too much of it away. Yeah, that's spice cider. <laughs> That's not, is there even alcohol in there? Yeah, yeah, I could. This would be perfect. Just drink this all night long while you're playing some pool. This could be dangerous, though. I'm not going to lie. Because this is almost like... It sneaks I, up on you a little bit. Because yeah. I got the warm cheeks a little bit. You're starting to get there now? Yeah. I mean, granted, we pre-funked a little bit with some other scotches. Yeah, we definitely had a couple <laughs> <laughs> We I mean, definitely had we a few We went to warm-ups. Japan and then... Uh, <laughs> Scotland, and then... <laughs> yeah, we definitely had some warm-ups into it, but I don't know. This one, I think you could get in trouble with this one just because it goes down so smooth that, yeah, you could be, like, five deep and then be like, uh-oh. <laughs> like, shit, I did, I did just drink five whiskeys. But this one's just too smooth, yeah. Yeah, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, on a scale of one to ten, what would you give it? I would give it a five, a 50 50 eight, eight. It's good. It's very good for uh, somebody who doesn't really like scotches but wants to try a scotch. Somebody who likes other liquors a little bit more but wants to try and dabble a little bit in scotch but needs something smooth, introductory. A five, though, you got to figure. Like, I mean, that's that's almost an F. I would, I would, not, I would say it's a little better than that. Yeah. I mean, our well liquor right, our well whiskey right now, I would give a one. Well, that's so you why have to grade it to well whiskey right. as a but one. But that's why you would never see a well whiskey on this channel. <laughs> we'll have to bring some ten high in here. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to drink none of that. But I don't because I like all this the stuff better that... than the uh, the second Japanese whiskey we had. What was that one? Oh, the Nika Coffee Mall. Yeah, I like this. Now, see, that was the lowest grade I've ever given. I well, gave that a seven. Oh, see, I would have given that a four. <laughs> see, I don't think. I mean, I don't think a four. I don't even want to drink. But don't that's like wanna, a. I don't even want to. That's drink. like a well Japanese that. level, like an introductory Japanese. It's a yeah, three it's or hundred dollar Japanese. Three or four. Game. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, hundred dollar Japanese entry level. Well, know. that's all Japanese whiskey yeah, is expensive. Exactly. <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, I mean, I mean that's true, but so I mean I get what you're saying with those, and I probably I would say I'd grade them a little bit high, except for I know that I kind of do my research. I watch thousands of whiskey yeah. videos, and oh, so I know what I want to go drink. Every so whiskey, I'm buying what I want to go drink. Yeah, every whiskey you bring in here is top of the line. Yeah. So it's, well, of not, course you're not gonna get below sevens. Yeah, not top of the line, but I'm yeah, saying top shelves. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying top shelf. Yeah. So you're I mean, not, we'll, we'll get you're not there. bringing in very much call stuff. I mean, this is right. still what a little bit of call green right. label. It's still going to be considered top, but eh. My man did get the hookup, though. He got this down in Oregon, so one, we didn't have to pay that outlandish Washington State tax. Shout out to this. Seaside High School. Oh, 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 Seaside, Oregon. God. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could get them Oregon tax system up here, because <laughs> oh, I'm about sick of paying these whiskey taxes. They are outlandish. But, and not only that, I mean, I don't know if it's because, like, the box was a little bit damaged or what, but, yeah, this is about $72.99, 73 bucks up here, and we got it for $59.99, so 60 bucks. You cannot be mad at that. I mean, if, if you're saving almost 15 bucks a bottle, I'll take that all day long. So, yeah, I got the deal on it, and I'm glad we did. So this is actually my third green, or my third Johnny Walker. Your girl would like this, make some drinks with. Maybe not. Yeah. I'm gonna have to actually have the giant timber taste this one. That is a good question. I don't know. If she'll, uh, she she thinks all whiskey smells like markers. Like Sharpies. <laughs> she hates it. Well, she's you said she was well, making she some drinks. With she likes to tell them to do yeah. Irish whiskey. She likes to tell them to do for uh, mules and uh, old fashioned. Yeah, so. I think she tried this. She'll like it. Well, he's gonna give it a five. Well, uh, scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give it. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half. I will definitely give this a seven and a half. I mean, that's not, I'm not mad at drinking it. It's an easy drinker that's definitely going to the poker game on Tuesday. Oh, I'll have to show up. 
Bowl so Green Tuesday movie. night. And uh, yeah, I definitely drink up on this one, but a bunch of delinquents gambling <laughs> with some uh, Johnny Walker Green in them. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for getting it and uh, bringing it home. And uh, I finally, after all this time, got to ch- taste the uh, Johnny Walker Green. First thank you, everybody, guys, for coming out. If uh, you guys like what you see, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want. Hit that bell, and you'll know when the next one comes out. We're going to have some Versus uh, ones coming and a few more tastes. So you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of the week. And until we see you next time, cheers. <laughs> If it's frozen to this, what do you do? (laughs) It's frozen.